I was going through my second semester, my senior year, as if I was just going to show up and chill and be a red shirt. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the starting quarterback blew his knee out. Mm. Uh, and then our coach was like, you need to find a way to get here like early. Wow. So I actually was the first person from my high school I think, ever to leave early in the second semester. Like, like, like they froze my grades and I left like from prom. Wow. And I literally like they sent me the playbook. I mean, I, you know, I learned it in a month or so and then I was off. So you just left like, fast track it. So yeah. why'd you, why'd you go to Miami? Because I, I heard yeah. that you had a chance to stay here. Right. And I'm sure if you had those two schools, you had a. Yeah, I mean, uh, like growing up, I mean, just, you know, like this guy right here, we, you know, I loved USC. Like that was my dream school. Mm -hmm. Um, And then when I got to high school, uh, Miami actually offered me, like that was my first scholarship. Mm. Um, And USC was recruiting someone that was like out of state. And I was like, I was kind of salty about it. Yeah. I'm going to show them. I'm going (laughs) to go off and blaze my own path. Right. Um, And then right after Lane Kiffin got fired, I actually got offered like by Ed Ogeron. Hey. And Clay helped. Actually, Clay, I think Ed's Clay was the one who too. called me. He's yeah, really he was guy. the offense coordinator at the time, right? Clay yeah. was, was the OC, and Ed was the head coach. And then, like, literally, like, the day after Helt, uh, not Helt, uh, Kiffin got fired, uh, Clay was at my school. He watched me play, yeah. called me, like, the very next day. He was like, hey, man, I'll give you a scholarship. Uh, everyone else is going to come call him, but just know, like, we're home. And so I was like, damn, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. Coach O was like, hey, man, we got number 15 ready for you <laughs> when Nelson Aguilar leaves. It's wow. your number. That's huge. Um, I still have, like, voicemails from him, I think, in my old phone. Wow. Um, that's and incredible. I was like, I was re- I was like, damn, like, like you that's know, huge, maybe man. I should. Yeah. I, I considered it, um, but I stayed true to my commitment and my word. Yeah. So uh, stayed with Miami. But, yeah, you know, who knows? In, in another reality – what USC I could have been like, I could have been vibing. Yeah, with, Moa, yeah. So with the boys on the track. Well, we're here anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. we're here. We made, we made yeah, it happen. We made it, we made it happen. So, what about Miami? Did you grow up watching those teams? And you know, was was there some sort of uh, relationship with the city or the team or like what about them drew you? Yeah, I just, uh, I mean, like like USC, you know, Miami just played with like a certain level of like swagger. It was like definitely like growing up. It was like you always like you think of like USC, Miami. Uh, I don't think Alabama was even no, was even like right. that. No. Yeah, yeah, they weren't really like maybe that. Texas because they had uh, Texas, Vince Young. Texas with Colt McCoy in them. Or are you talking Vince Young yeah, at that time? Yeah. Yeah. Was, was it Shepard? Was it the, um, the receiver Shepard? Something like that. He was a goat. I don't know. Still, nah, not no, Shepard. Oh, what are you talking about? Texas receiver? Texas yeah. receiver. What was his name? Colt or is it? Oh, gosh, Colt we got to get a name. Shipley? Oh, yeah, Shipley. Shipley. Oh. Oh. Jordan, Shipley. Jordan Shipley. Jordan Shipley. He was a great NCAA guy. Yeah, great yeah. NCAA player, right? <laughs> I don't know what happened Texas. with NFL, but he was yeah. a yeah. great NCAA yeah. player. Those were the yeah. squads growing up, though. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, I, I, you know, and actually, I, I remember, like, watching Miami play Nebraska in the Rose Bowl. Mm. And I remember, like, L.A. being flooded with, like, orange and green and, like, red and white. And I was like, damn, like, that's, like, yeah. Miami's pretty badass. Like, I watched that game. They blew yeah. them out. And I always kept them, like, in the back of my head. I was like, something about Miami I, I enjoy. Um, and then, like, literally, like, that was my first offer. Like, like I used to wear, like, Miami sweaters. Like, and everyone wow. was like, why do you love Miami? I'm like, I don't know. I just, I love, like, <laughs> yeah. the vi- the I love vibe. the U. I love the green and orange. And then, yeah, they offered me. Like, so, I mean, just you know, out. like, just put it out there yeah. into the ether and never know what happens. So, yeah, from then on, I was like, I'm sold. Dude, it's so, so. funny because with me, it's almost the inverse. Me growing right. up in Miami and coming out to L.A., and it's also funny how at an early age, there's these uh, these moments that just imprint in you, like you mm-hmm. said with the Rose Bowl. So for me, it was coming out here every summer with my dad okay. to the uh, the Bob Johnson quarterback camps. I don't know mm. if you've heard of them. Down in Orange County, in, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a quarterback mm-hmm. thing for sure. Yeah, I've never definitely. heard of it. Well, it's, he, a, it's a big uh, thing. That was where Mark Sanchez, uh, that exactly. was his, his high school yeah, coach, Yeah, Mark, right? uh, Rob Johnson, yep. the Johnson family, obviously. Mm-hmm. So we'd yeah. come here every summer, and, and I just loved the vibe. Like, it just seemed like this is where quarterbacks play. Yeah. And this was, it was always like Southern California, that's where they come from from yeah so if, right. if you want to be an elite quarterback that's where you go and it was like right. the matt barkley days and yep. i remember the reggie bush and the national mm-hmm. championships yep. line art mm-hmm. it was always like you know john david booty is another one booty yeah. Yeah. About him. number 10 this is yeah. a straight quarterback <laughs> conversation <'cause laughs> straight up all these names are going well, right over my right. head Except Mark Sanchez. Hour. well yeah seriously yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well like long story short to me it was always like qbu and, and it's mm-hmm. not just that but it was also the entire lifestyle of playing quarterback right. in L.A. It's like you're surfing. We were just talking yeah, about Hollywood, surfing, yeah. right? Hollywood, La La yeah. Land, the whole thing. Yeah. And I was just completely enamored f- by it from an early age. Mm-hmm. 
So it's, just, well, it's funny how it's the inverse. Though. Yeah, we swapped. We we uh, passed by each other on yeah. American yeah. Airlines. Crazy, there you go. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so did you take an official to Miami? That was like, yeah, to Miami. Tell um, tell me how that was because you're you're you know their prized possession. You're the quarterback right. coming in about to change the program. Right. They already in the back of their mind, they know they're going to stick you in a position to be right. successful. They're telling their players, like, make sure this guy has a good time. That party was crazy. Well, huh? here's the thing. Is I don't tell me. Please tell, tell me you did not go <laughs> I think out. you know please, please don't what I'm going to say. I went with my high school girlfriend at the time. I'm so. done with the pod. <laughs> Walk out. <laughs> Why? That just shows you what kind of, what kind of man I was He's back, a faithful then. Man. back then. Back then. I'm kidding. Bro, I still am. I still am. So... Yeah, you, you went with your high school girlfriend. I did to University of Miami, which is, I would. I think the last time I looked, because I used to always look at like with the top party schools. And Mo can tell you, I don't. I'm not even right. a big party, but I like having people around me that party because I love the energy. Right. But uh, that's why you went to Harvard, sure. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is the TikTok, but we'll talk about that. We'll later. talk about that later. So I'm pretty sure that's like number two party school in in, in the country. Aside number one, from ASU, right? ASU, yeah. and like maybe it's like Chico there. State or something. Yeah. yeah. So. You took your high school girlfriend. Right. Okay, scratch that. So, whatever. You took your high school girlfriend. <laughs> yep. I'm sure the players are still like, you got to make sure he has a good time. Like, <laughs> So, what did you do on that recruiting trip besides go to dinner, visit the facilities, hear the co- meet with the coaches and have them, you know, tell you that, that you're going to be great and they can see you going to NFL? Like, what else did you do? I mean, I really wasn't, uh, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that, that all, all that, Extraordinary. Wow. I'll be on. I mean, like, but we, like we did go to some. I think we went to some nice restaurants. You know, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like, we did the whole uh, the Biltmore thing, which is the Miami insider nice. thing. Yeah, like Biltmore. Yeah, nice you know, yeah. I was like, hey, I'll take it. You know, I, I, I enjoyed it. I think that's where they're taking the new recruits. That's a new. Yeah, that's yeah. a new deal. Which yeah. I mean, I, I I went there at some yeah. point yeah. at Miami, but like at that point, I was like, you know what? Like, this is like, I'm not really trying to get sold on it. I'm just like, let me just play. Like let me just like okay. let me okay. just like strap it up. I mean, you from know, a coaching like, perspective, like you, you're the probably the best type of player right. to have. Like we ain't got to do right, nothing for right. this dude. Like he's committed and they knew to that. us. They knew that. They knew that. Okay. They didn't have to do anything. You know, bring out the sparklers and the bottles and the you know. Yeah, I would bring out the extra recruiters. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I got my cookie cake and I was good. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> you're like,